Hey guys, Adrian from Adventures of Carly and here with another episode of our ice cream adventures. Today we are dealing with strawberry ice cream. Now I wasn't always a fan of strawberry ice cream and that's kind of because I grew up, you know, when you have like Neapolitan ice cream and people think they're pleasing everyone by having all three flavors, but those who just want a chocolate find that strawberry and vanilla just get in the way, right? So. Anyways, it took me a really long time to find strawberry ice cream that I actually liked. And that came in the form of Curbside Creamery, which is based in Oakland. And theirs actually tasted like fresh strawberries. So that was a super game changer, opened my eyes, all that thing, to fruit-based ice cream. Now, it's not any less complicated than making chocolate ice cream which is unfortunate. But today we decided to keep things simple and we're gonna test a more, I don't know, more of a like accessibility issue and uh, see if basically if having frozen versus fresh strawberries makes a difference. And then we're also gonna compare just blending fresh versus cooking down and creating like a jam or a compote and then blending that with your ice cream base makes a huge difference. So we're kind of looking just to see which will become our favorite strawberry ice cream. Of course, it's pretty obvious that cooking what will change the flavor, but again, ice cream is all about your preference. So if you like your decadent dark chocolate versus something more milk, you know, it's like fresh strawberries versus strawberry milk versus like in your face intense strawberry jam. So it's gonna depend, but we're gonna do this experiment so that all of you folks have all the data and you guys can make your own perfect strawberry ice cream just like we're gonna do now. So we're gonna do it with um, our Philly base, because if you've been following along, we determined that the best ice cream base for sort of the subtle, subtle uh, fruit flavors might be the Philly, because it's just so light and it um, there's no achiness to kind of compete with your flavor. So we're gonna go with that and keep the experiment simple and just see where it goes. All right, let's get started, guys. Let's go. Okay, for your strawberry ice cream, you're gonna need heavy cream, whole milk, sugar, salt, strawberries, and optionally lemon juice if you're testing the cooked strawberries version, which we'll start with first. We begin by making a jam. Put your nine ounces of strawberries, fresh or frozen, three eighths of sugar, all into a pot. Squeeze some lemon juice, about a tablespoon, and let that cook together. The lemon juice is necessary for balancing the pH of the jam and also helping it set. Now you're gonna bring this up to a boil to reach about 220 degrees Fahrenheit, and that also helps with setting the jam. Then you're gonna pour it into a container and set it into the fridge to cool. Once this is cooled, we can combine everything in a blender or hand mix. Pour in your one cup of heavy cream, half cup of whole milk, then your strawberry jam, give that a whirl. Then set that mix aside in the fridge to chill for at least one to two hours before churning. We also set aside some of our jam here so that we can create a strawberry swirl. That's completely optional, but it does help pack the punch. Once you're finished churning, go ahead and set that into the freezer for at least four hours before serving. Next up, for the uncooked strawberry ice cream, you're simply gonna combine everything together. Your one cup of heavy cream, half cup whole milk, three eighths cup sugar, pinch of salt, your nine ounces of strawberries, fresh or frozen. Give that a blend, then set the mix aside in the fridge to chill for one to two hours before churning. Note that the uncooked strawberries will make twice the ice cream as cooked strawberries will, so have an extra container ready. Freeze for at least four hours before serving. Okay guys, so that was the experiment. And I know it's really hard for you guys to see the difference, so I'll do my best to describe it. Um, other than the obvious difference of cooking the strawberries down, and you can see that via the swirl we did, um, it created less quantity, about half as much as not cooking your strawberries down did. And of course the flavor was more like jam. So it had a little bit of a warmer, full balanced flavor versus using versus not cooking your strawberries down. And that left it feeling a little bit more like fresh strawberries. Fresh or frozen strawberries just blended had a slight difference. Um, not enough that 
I wouldn't recommend using fr frozen strawberries, but if you use fresh strawberries, there is a little bit more of a brightness, a tartness, if you will, that you can taste, but again, not a huge difference. Um, the frozen strawberries blended kind of ended up tasting like strawberry milk to me, so because you didn't get that tartness from the fresh strawberries, you could kind of taste the milk and the cream more, so that it gave it a little bit more of a rounded strawberry milk flavor. So maybe if you're thinking like strawberry milkshake is your jam, like that's probably the one to do. Frozen, straight blended, not cooked. On the other hand, if you're looking for like that fresh refreshing strawberry taste, then I would recommend using just fresh strawberries and blending that with your ice cream base. However, if you're looking for something a little bit more balanced, something more complicated, maybe you're willing to mix it with some other flavors, then cooking down the strawberries might be the way to go. We really liked the swirl. In fact, I liked it a lot and I thought it would actually be kind of good to do the fresh blended and then just set aside some of the jam and swirl that with the fresh blended. This is what always happens with our experiments. We find some other hodgepodge mess that we want to try next. But that's kind of the point, right? So anyways, I hope that was useful to you guys and that maybe you'll figure out a way to find your perfect strawberry ice cream. I know we're going to continue to do this and tweak and finesse. And I'm pretty sure we also like different things. <laughs> we'll be making a lot of strawberry ice cream. Anyways, if you guys liked that, enjoyed it, please like subscribe, share all those good things. We appreciate your time and all the love. See you on the next one. Bye.